We just saw JavaScript make a calculation between two numbers. In this video, we'll talk about variables and start building a very small program that actually represents something. What is a variable? A variable is the first simple building block of our programs. It's going to hold and represent a single data value. These are the common properties of all software applications and variables are the first tool that we're going to use to represent and process data inside of our programs. A variable represents some data value within our program and when we create a variable we name it after what it represents. The value inside the variable is something that exists in real life but the value is usually represented by a number. At any time, I can choose to replace this value with a different value. Let's open the DevTools console and take a look at the syntax of creating and manipulating variables. To define a variable, I just use the var keyword and name the variable and then an equal sign in the value that I want to put inside this variable. Once I've defined the variable, then I can use it in the place of any other kind of literal value and make a calculation. So here I see that two plus five is seven and the result of this operation, I can assign into a new variable if I want. And I can see that the value inside this variable is the correct value. I can reassign the value I have in a variable to new value. And so we can see that uh, anytime I have a literal number value, I can replace that with a variable or I can hold that value inside a variable and use it in an operation uh, just like we did in the last video. Now we've seen JavaScript language syntax around creating variables and manipulating the values inside those variables. Now let's talk about what we're actually going to use variables for to represent values inside of our programs. Non-technical people often make the mistake of thinking that the correct calculation of the result is the most important thing in coding. In fact, accurate representation of the values inside the program is equally as important and variables play a big role in representing values in an accurate way. Let's see an example of a calculation that I'd like to make in JavaScript that calculates the area of a wall in my house. I want to know what the area of the wall is so I know how much paint to buy. This wall has a single window and so when I calculate the area of the wall I want to subtract out the area of the window. Here's a calculation of the area of the wall after I've made some measurements. You can see here that I have two numbers that represent the height and width of the window and two numbers that represent the height and width of the wall. And at the bottom, I'm calculating the total area of the wall minus the total area of the window. And I get my result. So next, let's look at the same calculation, uh, but in a different syntax. Here's an example of the same calculation, but with variables that don't describe what I'm trying to represent in the program. You can see here that I have two numbers that represent the area of the window and two variables that represent the area of the wall. And the value that I'm gonna get out at the end is the same exact number. Uh, but in this program, I haven't accurately uh, represented the values that I wanna compute. As the programs we create become more and more complex, we're going to see that correct calculation is only one aspect of creating a high quality piece of software. Accurate representation of the values in the code, naming the variables well is just as important as getting the right result. 